so I don't know where in the series this is gonna be, but this is the engine. As we stopped building it, that's because this, this hole is supposed to be, this is the chain guide, so there's a threaded hole and that should have been there as well. If you see the difference in size. So of course, if you're familiar with building any engine, you would have seen that when starting, but because I'm a rookie, this is my first time, I just didn't notice. And uh, when I wanted to put the timing chain guide in it, uh, I just saw that, 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 yeah, that what, what was wrong. So that needs to get fixed. And in order to get that fixed, we need to take the engine apart and give, to, give it to them as a bare block. So that's unfortunate, but um, I wanted to show you guys just because that is part of building an engine for the first time or any engine. You're 100% gonna run into trouble or problems or yeah, stuff that's not how it's supposed to be. And this is my first time and this is my problem. So um, yeah, part of it. So what's next is taking everything out again. Luckily, we don't have to measure the bearings anymore. We don't have to measure the piston rings. Um, that's all already there. The pistons are yeah, just pistons out, uh, the connecting rods are already attached and then crank can come out and then the, we have a bare block again. Um, so it is what it is, let's take the engine apart and then once we get can start building again um, we can do the full, uh, we can do it the proper way. So the series got all shaken up, so I have no idea which part or thing this is, but we got the engine back from the engine builder. This is the hole that needed to get fixed. I'm gonna put a picture on the screen of what the hole used to be. And it's fixed now, so awesome work by the uh, company that made it. And the head is also repaired. There was a, where the, see exhaust side number nine, um, there was a, Piece that was broken off so the spring could move like this so that's got fixed as well they cleaned the engine put all the springs and valves and then checked them so uh, awesome company that fixed the uh, head not so awesome company that did it the first time so um, yeah I still have all the parts laying down here and the engine stand so let's put the engine back on the stand and then we can go on to final assembly so it's time to put the block back together. I already did the oil squirters, but I'm not gonna talk by with everything. So I'm just gonna put everything together and then we can move on from where we stopped. <laughs> Some time later now all the issues got resolved so I'm basically back where we stopped last time so what we're gonna do now is put the timing guides on there and then probably the timing cover and then we can probably turn the block around and move on to the head so uh, yeah exciting stuff <laughs> We 
needed to wait for some parts. So I got the new timing chain here. I got the guide pin. So I had to take the timing cover off, but all good because we got a new chain. So we're gonna put that on. Then we can put the timing chain, timing cover back on. So you know what time it is, it's time to put the head on, so I'm gonna grab the head gasket, put that on, and then we can put the head on. So now we've come to the scary stuff, which is torquing the head bolts. At least torquing is not the scary part, but angling them. So um, I put all the bolts in like with hand, so I can see that the threads are okay and they all felt right. So we're just gonna we're just gonna do it. So all the bolts are in. So now we finally got to the point where we're gonna torque the head. So I'm kind of nervous first. 30 newton meters. I got the torque sequence. I need to clear the workspace a little, but so I got the torque sequence here, so we can uh, check off which one we torqued. And then uh, I think it's first 30 newtons, and then 90 degrees, and then 90 degrees again. So yeah, let's start torquing. <laughs> Basically we did the cams and now the chain guides so now we can move on to actually doing the timing and then cross of the engine is done of course there's still like the water pump and the crank sensor and stuff that I need to take from the B25 engine and of course the um, oil pickup which I still need to swap but the old one is still uh, needs to get cleaned so and of course the oil pump nut that we need to do so but let's move on to the timing of the engine. So it's time to put some accessories on, starting with the oil filter housing. So I took the water pump from my uh, B25 engine, just because it's brand new, basically. I replaced it last year, so. We can transfer that to this engine. So it's time to bolt up more accessories.
working on the final touches now. What we're gonna do is, this is the cover for my uh, B25 engine, just because I like the plastic cover better. We're gonna put a new gasket on, although this one is maybe 5000 kilometers old. Um, we're gonna, just gonna change it anyway. And then put some uh, gasket maker around the edges. I think this is a edge. Here's an edge, and then the halves here need some. And then we can put the cover on, tighten it down, and then the gasket maker can dry. And the engine is uh, tight, and then we can put the uh, spark plugs in. It's time to put the oil pan on. I'm gonna decrease this edge and then I'm gonna decrease decrease the edge on the oil pan. Put the gasket on it, put some gasket maker. I think we're gonna put some gasket maker on the block. Or no, we're gonna put some gasket maker on the oil pan, gasket, the gasket itself on the block, and then tighten it down. Alright, we got the oil pan on. So it's time to put the new spark plugs in. So, start here. The spark plugs are in, so now it's time to put the ignition coils in. So that was the engine build guys, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, of course, this is not the end of what's happening to the engine because of course we need to put it in, start it up. Uh, so much, no, not so much, but still a lot of stuff regarding the engine that needs to get done. Um, so the it's not the last you're gonna see of the engine. So I hope you guys enjoyed the engine series and now we are fully back to the engine and build series being one. And probably next week you're going to see us putting the engine in the engine bay and then uh, getting ready for startup. Thank you guys for watching the video. I hope you guys liked it. Please like, comment, subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.